Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and welcome to the Canon EOS C300 Mark II video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the recording options that are available on the camera system. So let's get started. So let's go into our recording media setup menu and inside of the menu, we can go down first to system frequency. This is a true world camera, so you can set that to what you need to. And then we're gonna go down to really where most of the things happen, which is under resolution color sampling. And just to sort of mention here, of course, the C300 Mark II is an amazing 4K camera system, but it is also an incredible HD and 2K camera system. And we're gonna go ahead and first take a look at some of those options, and then we'll talk about the 4K options in the camera. So 1080 set here to 10 bit. And when I do that and I step out of this menu, we actually have options for our bit rate. And we can choose the standard, which is 160 megabits per second. That's an intra-frame codec. So it's actually recording that at full frames. Every single frame is a full picture. Or we can choose a lighter weight version of that, 50 megabits per second long gop. In most situations, of course, what we want to do is we want to capture as much data as we can. This data rate, 160 megabits per second, is not that high for today's NLEs and the workflows that we have. So I'd leave it on this most of the time, if not all of the time. And we're going to go back to resolution and color sampling. And now I want to talk to you about 1080 and 2K in another way, which is not our 10-bit YCC422 recording, which is what we've been talking about so far, but down here we have options for both 1920 by 1080 and also 2048 by 1080, our 2K recording in both 10-bit and 12-bit RGB 444. So that means we're capturing all of the luminance and all of the chroma data in those channels for our recording. It means that you're probably getting one of the best HD and 2K camera systems out there. You have so much information to work with when you get into post-production. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the 1080 version of the 12-bit RGB 444 recording. You will see here under bitrate now that that is locked in at 225 megabits per second as an intra-frame recording. Now, this is all based on all of this internal recording is based off of the XFAVC codec that is new to the C300 Mark II, which is what is allowing us to basically have these high data rates and record those to the CFAST 2.0 cards. So that's our data rate there. Now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna change this to a 2K and you'll see also that that same bit rate is being applied 225 megabits in an XFABC codec. Those are your 12-bit options in RGB 444. We do in fact have a 10-bit option for both HD and 2K. And if I go into that and we take a look at our bit rate, it's slightly lower, but I would definitely go with 12-bit if I had the option. It's only a difference between 210 and 225 megabits per second. Now it's time to talk about 4K and ultra high definition with the camera. And we'll see that there are two options for internal recording. The first one is our ultra high definition recording, sometimes called QFD or quad full high definition. And when we choose that and we go down here, you see our bit rate is 410 megabits per second. When we go to four times the resolution of HD, there's going to be a larger file size, but we are recording internally to CFAST 2.0 cards at 410 megabits per second. That means there's gonna be a lot of data there with your recording. It's a 16 by nine aspect ratio, so we're used to that because we've been doing that in HD for a long time. In the future, when we are pushing content to living rooms and 4K devices, it's almost always going to be at this resolution, unless it's in a movie theater, and then we're dealing with DCI 4K, and that's 4096 by 2160. That's a 17 by nine aspect ratio. So that's your DCI 4K internal recording. But what I wanna do right now is I wanna to talk to you about some of the other recording options in the camera system. So I'm gonna choose 1920 by 1080 10 bits and then step out of there. We're gonna go up to the recording mode menu. And inside of there, this is where we're actually going to access our slow and fast motion options. Now we're gonna do slow and fast motion for our 1080 or 2K recordings. 
And there's a couple of ways that we can actually decide what frame rate is being captured. On the side of the camera now, at least as a default, button number seven on the body is assigned to SNF frame rate. But I'm gonna scroll down here to special recording settings and under SNF frame rate, we can actually just choose what frame rate that's going to be. And we'll go ahead and choose 60 and select that. And then if I just go ahead and toggle my display, we can make sure that we see that we are 60 over 2398. What that means is it's going to capture at 60 frames per second, but the final recording will be 2398, meaning over crank footage in slow motion. The other thing to just look out for is right here. The camera has made an adjustment here to give us correct exposure. Most of us, when we're shooting with digital cinema cameras, are actually using shutter angle instead of shutter speed. And because that's relative, what the camera does is it tries to adjust that shutter angle to make sure you have correct exposure. So remember that if you're not using shutter speed and you are using shutter angle, that you'll have to go in there and reset that to the shutter angle that you want. And then, of course, like I said before, you're going to have to adjust your lighting. So these are our options for going all the way up to 60 frames per second when we are shooting in HD or 2K. If we wanna go higher than 60 frames per second, I'm gonna go into the menu here and we're gonna step out and go back to our recording mode and we are going to choose slow and fast motion crop. And when I choose that, you'll see an immediate change in the image and I'll step out and you can see this and we have a cropped version of our image here. It's a 2X crop and I can do the same exact thing. I can go into the menu system or hit the SNF frame rate button on the side of the camera. And now it will actually allow me to go all the way up to, again, in HD and 2K, up to 120 frames per second for recording. So again, just remember that you're in a crop mode. So when you wanna shoot 120 frames per second in HD or in 2K, you might wanna use a wider focal length in terms of your lens. Now, those are our slow and fast motion options for HD and 2K. Go back into the menu and we'll bring that back to just regular slow and fast motion. I'm gonna go into the menu for resolution and color sampling. And either in ultra high definition or in DCI 4K, if I choose those, we can do up to 30 over 24. A little bit of slow motion. Obviously, it's not like going to 60 or to 120 but that's what you can do with the camera system. Those are the main things that we need to cover for the internal recording options. I do want to talk about this, which is our XF AVC proxy recording in the camera system. And that is also in the recording media setup menu. So we can turn that on and when it's activated, it's gonna make sure that it's recording not only, and I'll just show you this, to the two CFast 2.0 cards, but it's also recording to the SD card as well. Now we can apply a LUT to that if we want, and you can see that in this menu. That way, if for some reason you wanted to hand over these proxy files to create an edit decision list or over to the client, you could do that. But do remember that when you are recording these proxy files, they're either HD or 2K. So if you're doing 4K internal recording, then that's gonna be your master. And then of course the proxies would be used in post for numerous workflows. And then we can go over here to relay double slot recording. And of course, this is where you can decide whether you are recording to one card, it fills up and goes to the other relay recording or double slot recording where it's recording the same data to both cards at the same time. So those are the recording options for the C300 Mark II. Tons and tons of options. The fact that we have 12-bit RGB 444 recording internally to those CFast 2.0 cards in HD and 2K is huge. We also have ultra high definition DCI 4K internally to the camera system. Tons of options for you. That's the C300 Mark II's recording options. Mm -hmm.